Hey guys, I'm back today with yet another video on the book The Bates Method, Better Eyesight Without Glasses Written by W.H. Bates Now today I'll be talking just about what glasses do to us What a pain, what a torture they actually are What's, what's the truth about them? So, beginning with a little bit of history According to the Florentines, their contemporary Salvino Degli Armati was the inventor of the lenses now so commonly worn. But they were probably mistaken because lenses have been known from a period much earlier than Salvino's. The Romans at least might have known something of supplementing the powers of the eye. For Pliny in his written works tells us that Nero, a Roman king, used to watch the games in the Colosseum through a concave gem set for the purpose in a ring. However, even if his contemporaries believed that Salvino of Thermati was the first to produce lenses, they should have prayed for the pardon of his sins. Because while it is true that to some people glasses have brought relief from pain and discomfort and have given them improved vision, but to others they have simply been a torture. More or less, they always do harm. And when at their best, they never improve vision to the normal. That glasses cannot improve sight to normal can be demonstrated by a very simple experiment. Try looking at any color through a very strong concave or convex glass. It will be noted that the color seen would be less intense or less vibrant than when seen with the naked eye. Same is with glasses. Whenever you see any color through the glasses, it appears a little more duller or a little less vibrant than when you see it with, a na with the naked eye. And since the perception of form, the way you see objects around you, depends upon the perception of color, therefore both color and form are seen less distinctly with glasses. Forget convex and concave lenses. Take a plain mirror, even that lowers the vision. And anyone who's ever looked out of a window knows that. Women who wear glasses for minor defects of vision feel that they're made more or less colorblind by them. And whenever they go into a shop, they often take them off when they want to match samples. However, if the sight is seriously defective, kind of like mine, then colors may be seen better with glasses than without them. Now, it would have been alright if wearing glasses would have maintained a constant degree of refractive error and the number would have increased, but that isn't the case. Uh, once most people wear glasses, the condition gets worse and the strength of their glasses has to be continuously increased. People suffering from presbyopia cannot read small print, so they wear glasses for that time. And after they wear them for some time, they find that now they can't even read larger print, which was visible to them earlier. Now, here's an interesting fact. When we people break our glasses and have to go without them for a week or two, it is frequently observed that the sight at that time improves. If you get your eyes checked at that time, you'll find that your eyesight has improved by a few minor points. So the idea is to take your glasses off as much as you can because your eyes are not adjusted to glasses. They're not meant for them and they feel more comfortable without glasses. So whenever you can, do take off your glasses and rest your eyes a bit. Look around. Just look around at your surroundings. The human eye resents the glasses. No one will deny that fact. Every oculist knows that the eye has to get used to the glasses. And sometimes people never succeed in doing so. Like my dad. The strong concave glasses, which are required by myopes, uh, make things seem smaller than they actually are, while convex glasses enlarge them. These are some uncomfortable situations that cannot be overcome. People with degree, high degrees of astigmatism suffer very unpleasant feelings when they first put on glasses. Which is why most people are advised to get used to glasses at home before going out. Now here's another very troublesome problem with glasses. Whenever you look through glasses, you can see only straight, like exactly straight. The frame has to be at right angles with the light of, line of vision. And if you look left or right, then some objects seem a bit blurry. You can't, you can't look like this at some object. You just have to turn your head around to look at it. Because this is another very troublesome problem. 
which which is not encountered when when your eyes are normal because your eyes can look in any direction and can turn around as their own will but that isn't the case with glasses now when gla when eyes do not adjust to glasses or like you have to focus on some object that's on that side and you cannot turn your head um, it not only causes a temporary discomfort it also causes many nervous symptoms such as dizziness headaches and blurriness or many others so um, one one tip that I'll give you is that whenever you do this exercise this one when you turn your eyes around like this then do not do this with glasses because it becomes really difficult for your eyes to focus on all sides always take off your glasses and do this exercise now among the thousands of minor discomforts of glasses another one is keeping them clear on damp and rainy days the atmosphere clouds them and on hot summer days the perspiration from the body has the same effect every day they are subject to contamination by dust and other things and if you happen to touch your glasses by mistake then it leaves this fingerprint on the glasses which obstructs your vision likewise reflections from strong lights on the glasses can also be very annoying and if on the street while driving it can also be dangerous soldiers sailors workmen children or like any person has a lot of difficulty with glasses and like especially me i know about myself like during dance classes or while running i i don't know whether to take off my glasses or to wear them on because if i take them off then i can't see anything and if i put them on then many other problems like if i'm running then it causes the glasses to cloud over and then also i can't see anything so there are several problems with glasses now putting glasses on a a child especially um looks very very disagreeable because it makes anyone sick at heart because it looks so bad like seeing such a small child wearing glasses like when i was 2 years old now it's fortunate that many people who are prescribed glasses do not wear them and escape from them and i'd say that parents should not force their children to wear glasses all the time because it saves them from a lot of harm and injury to their eyes at the end i'd just say that glasses are a very unsatisfactory substitute for normal vision so now i'll be coming to today's tip that i've promised and today's tip is that walking on dew wet grass whenever like when when we wake up in the morning around 6 or 7 o'clock and go to the park or any place where there's grass the gla grass is usually wet with dew which collects during the night and walking on that grass barefoot uh, improves the vision there's something related to acupressure uh, and blood flow and ba basically the eyes are just weak due to insufficient blood flow towards this upper portion this head area So when you walk barefoot on the grass it it does some acupressure and blood circulation increases in the whole body and i'd say do this the first thing in the morning because it's good So that's the end of this video and please do subscribe to my channel and share these videos as much as you can and for watching more videos on this book do visit my channel they're all there uh please do hit the like button if you like this video Bye bye.